The BC Golf Swing continues in breathtaking Victoria, British Columbia, home of the Bayview Place DC Bank Open, presented by Times Colonist, where there are adventures to be had. Oh, I was two for two, I felt great. I'm gonna say that mine was definitely bigger by a lot. And where there are those who champion the health of every Vancouver Island family. All that and more on this edition of This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. A compact, walkable urban centre nestled on the southern end of Vancouver Island, British Columbia's capital city of Victoria is an exhilarating blend of cultures. With gorgeous parks, a thriving arts district and a celebrated local food scene, Victoria is a must-see stop on Canada's west coast. It's also home to the Bayview Place DC Bank Open presented by Times Colonist. First held in 1981, it's been a showcase for golf in the region for nearly 40 years. Now in its sixth year with the Mackenzie Tour, it's grown into a major event on the Vancouver Island sports calendar, thanks in part to its biggest supporter, developer of Bayview Place, Ken Mariash. We're definitely proud of the golf, seeing some of the people that played here on the leaderboard throughout the seasons. Terrific. At Bayview Place, because we're about neighborhood, we're about creating community. And so connecting to the Bayview Place DC Bank Open is really important for us because golf in Victoria is synonymous with being connected to community. Part of that connection is reinvesting in Victoria by helping those in need. The Bayview Place DC Bank Open raises funds for the Children's Health Foundation of Vancouver Island. A big part of that execution for us is how do we connect it to the community that we live in and the need. We're very much a part of charity, especially mental health and the Children's Foundation. There's so much to do and all you can do is, is your little piece of the puzzle. Having the vehicle of a great tournament like this to be able to help youth at risk and youth that really need it is a really wonderful opportunity. The Bayview Place DC Bank Open presented by Times Colonist is also the second leg on the BC Golf Swing. The swing got off to a hot start at the Freedom 55 Financial Open where Jordan Niebrugge captured his first McKenzie Tour title by two strokes. But Uplands Golf Club, a par 70, laying out just over 6,400 yards, presents a different challenge. You want to impose your will and play to your strengths in certain aspects, but at the same time, you don't want to force anything that's going to bring too much risk. So especially on a course like this, and it's an important course to get the ball in the fairway so that you can control your spin and distance into the green. So I'm going to hit a lot of two irons out there and get myself into position. and. Um, take what the course has given me. Thursday was a bit cloudy in Victoria, so Uplands Golf Club was primed for the picking during the first round of the Bayview Place DC Bank Open presented by Times Colonist. And the field took full advantage. Feeling quite at home was Victoria's own Jake Duval, who combined six birdies against two bogeys for a four under par 66. 16 golfers in the field went even lower in round one, including Sam Fedone of Lufkin, Texas, who led a pack of five golfers with six under par 64s. A list that included Vancouver, Washington's Alistair Dougherty, despite his somewhat rocky start. Uh, I was struggling a little bit, uh, finding the fairways and then not giving myself great opportunities or great looks at all. And uh, I got very fortunate to even get that ball out of the bunker, let alone uh, land it soft and roll it right into the hole. But the low round of the day belonged to Freedom 55 financial open runner-up, Zach Wright. They hit a bunch of fairways a day, which makes it easy because it's a short course. So if you put yourself in the middle of the fairway, it's, I mean, you got wedges and you can kind of attack the golf course. On the strength of a backside 30, the 24-year-old Arizona native paired nine birdies against one lone bogey to lead all golfers with an eight under par 62. When you're playing well, you don't really think about like the score. You're kind of just looking for like your next birdie. I was just kind of trying to hit good shots and make pots. 
he was really striping it all day. Um, he was making the golf course look very simple. He had it going today, that's for sure. Coming up, Cody Blick is on the bank. When you're looking down the tree line and there's a little gap, you know, you really want to try to thread the needle. <laughs> Through the needle. And it's second round action of the Bayview Place DC Bank Open. Then we drop a line with the pros. It's been, been, pull hard. There, good, you got it. When this is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada returns. This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. When Cody Blick fired a final round 67 at this year's Freedom 55 Financial Open to finish in a tie for second, he posted his 10th round in the 60s over his last 11 rounds of the BC golf swing. Just being up here in, in Canada is, is great. I mean, I love being up here in this, this summer, but uh, Victoria next week is going to be fun. Cody likes Vancouver, but last year he fired a 10 under par 60 during the final round of the Bayview Place DC Bank Open presented by Times Colonist. And the 24-year-old San Ramon, California native told us all about why he loves Uplands Golf Club and the BC Golf Swing in this week's On the Bag. The first two years at uh, Point Grey, I hit a lot of irons off tees. And last week, I hit, I hit driver pretty much everywhere. And uh, I'm probably just going to do the same out here. I mean, it's narrow, but even if you're in the trees, you just take your medicine and punch out. But you know, if you're hitting driver 80, 90% of the time, you're going to have a shot at the green. It's two left. It's two this far, shooting. If you hit iron off the tee, yeah, it's a narrow hole, but if you hit iron, you got another long iron in, and I just don't, I don't really see the benefit there. When you're looking down the tree line and there's a little gap, you know, you really want to try to thread the needle, but you, you have to be a little realistic sometimes. Is that thread the needle? <laughs> Through the needle. These three courses in particular are pretty similar to my home course. Uh, it's, it's narrow and I mean, it's, it's, it's short, but it's narrow, and the greens are undulated just like this, so I'm, I'm just kind of comfortable with this kind of golf. All these guys, we just want to win every week, and, uh, you know, I mean, you, you, all you can ask for is to get in contention, and I think I did that pretty well last week. I just, just had one bad round. Year one was kind of a, a learning process, and then, you know, I finished 72nd on the money list, and then I improved that off season. I finished 13th last year, and. And I feel like I've improved again, so as long as I keep getting better, I mean, that's all you can really ask for. That's awesome up here. I mean, this is, we are so fortunate to play golf every day. You know, like I said, that first year, I didn't really know what to expect. And uh, came up here and, and kind of got kicked around a little bit and uh, learned from it. And last year was solid, and then hopefully we're, we're going to do even better. I think it's great out here. I mean, the guys are great. It's a well-run tour, and we travel around and play golf every week. Go get that first one. Thanks. Appreciate it. Pleasure. For the second day in a row, cloudy skies greeted the Uplands Golf Club, and the Canadian contingent provided plenty of thunder during the second round of the Bayview Place DC Bank Open presented by Times Colonist. Calgary's Wes Heffernan followed up a Friday 65 with a five birdie, one bogey 66 to post nine under par. Joining Wes at nine under was Winnipeg's Aaron Cockerell, who matched that 66 on the strength of a five under par 30 on the inward nine. This is my favorite event, city, golf course, everything. I had a feeling I was gonna play pretty good coming in here and it's been good so far, so two more days and just try and do more of the same. But the low Canadian on Friday was Kimberly BC's Jared Dutois, who paired four birdies and an eagle for a bogey-free six under par 64. There's a ton of different ways to play this golf course. You know, if you're feeling good with the driver, you can have a lot of wedges in your hand, and that's why you see a lot of really low scores. But then if you, you're not feeling great with it, you can hit an iron, and, you know, kind of make birdie the hard way. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of strategy, and, um, you know, these greens are some of the best we play all year. But even the onset of rain in the afternoon could not wrestle first round leader Zach Wright from the top of the leaderboard by day's end. Wright matched seven birdies against three bogeys for a second round 66 and felt confident heading into the weekend. There's always a little bit of nerves, like I suppose, but I've been handling it very well, so I'm just gonna keep playing my game. 
Good morning, guys. I'm Jake. I'm Rob. Nice to Captain meet you. Rob. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah. Hey. On Tuesday of tournament week, while the majority of the Bayview Place DC Bank Open presented by Times Colonist Field was prepping for birdies and eagles, Mackenzie Tour players Brock Everett, Scott Kelly, and Jake Johnson opted for salmon. Is this going to be bigger and who's going to be first? And it didn't take long to realize these guys can fish. It's been, been pull hard. There, good, you got it. Yeah. Pretty tiny one. I got off to a slow start but uh, came on late, and I think we each, I mean, we caught, what, maybe like eight or nine of them, and we kept seven, uh, but it was awesome. It's beautiful out there, saw the mountains in the distance. It was cool to be able to just come out here and kind of relax and enjoy the sweet views that you just don't get when you're from Iowa. Well, yours is a bit bigger. It was hard to believe how strong they are, you know what I mean? Those ocean fish are just so much stronger, I think, than you realize. The guys were really chilled too, so it was awesome and good finish to a great day. So who is the best angler? Well, that's still up for debate. I caught the two biggest ones. I got the first interview, so I mean, that's for sure what happened. Well, I was two for two, I felt great. Once I got the rod in my hand, I was fine. I'm gonna say that mine was definitely bigger by a lot. Fresh salmon's gonna be unreal. Still to come, the third round is moving day at Uplands Golf Club. But first, it's time to unwind rooftop style. Great lunch items. Take a look at the end lunch items. A lot of it's barbecue flavor because we're on the rooftop patio here at the Strathcona Hotel. This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. We checked back in with Brock Everett, Scott Kelly, and Jake Johnson who worked up quite the appetite after a long morning on the water. Where better to satiate it than Victoria's very own Sticky Wicket? Hey, gentlemen, Joel, Strathcona Hotel. Hey, Johnson. Hey, Jake. Nice to meet you. Scott Kelly. Hey, Scott. Yeah. Brock Everett. Brock, nice yeah. to see you. Where are you most guys from? You told me. Des Moines. Des Moines. Uh, Northern California. Northern California. Texas. Texas. Great to have you up here in beautiful Victoria. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. us. Thanks for coming to Sticky Wicket. I hear you guys rode fishing. We were. We were. Thumbs up for fishing? Thanks, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Great. Man, what a great day for Victoria. Beautiful. So the sun came out for you. Wonderful. Yeah. Great lunch items. Take a look at the end lunch items. A lot of it's barbecue flavor because we're on the rooftop patio here at the Strathcona Hotel. Just want you guys to enjoy your lunch and have a great tournament in the next couple days. So we got the sand volleyball courts underneath that is about 10 inches of sand and the three inches of foam, foam underneath it. So it's really comfortable to play in. Um, the sand is actually from Portland, Oregon. So we had that shipped up here. Uh, so it doesn't get hot, which is really nice. Wow, that's sweet. We have three different rooms, the game room, the sticky wicket bar, and the clubhouse. Let's go take a look. All right. Gentlemen, we're going to go in the world famous Big Bad Johns. We did this 1962 for six months, the last for the Seattle World's Fair, and it's been the number one bar in Victoria since 1962. Step wow. on in, guys. All right. All righty. Thank you. We have the best selection of BC and Island wines, oh, too, awesome. so we really cater to, if you can see, the Soyuz, Oliver, Penticton. See you on the PGA Tour soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. On Saturday, sunny skies greeted the third round of the Bayview Place DC Bank Open presented by Times Colonist. And there was plenty of movement on moving day at Uplands Golf Club. Canadians Aaron Cockrell and Wes Heffernan surrendered their spots near the top, as did second round leader Zach Wright, who struggled to a three over par 73. Canada's lone savior in round three was none other than Jared Dutois, who ventured the other way, matching four birdies against two bogeys to move from a pre-round tie for fourth into solo third place. My goal was just to keep giving myself good looks. We talked about staying patient, and uh, I, I did a really good job of that early and gave myself some good looks on the back and capitalized. So it was uh, all in all a very patient day, and going to need some of that as well tomorrow. Vaulting four places in round three, 
was New Philadelphia, Ohio native Blake Sattler, who paired five birdies against a lone bogey for a four under par 66. Good enough for solo second. All the hard work is paying off. It was a little bit of a struggle earlier in the spring. Had some, had some issues, but we're getting it back and it's good to see some, some hard work pay off a little bit. But sitting atop the leaderboard through three rounds was PGA Tour Latino America's 2016 Honduras Open champion, Sam Fidon, who welcomed Saturday's sunny conditions. I think yesterday actually helped me a lot. In that raining condition, it, it, it was very uh, important to stay very patient and stick to your game plan. And I actually think that kind of calmed me down for the rest of the week. Playing in only his second McKenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada event, the 25-year-old Texan notched three birdies and an eagle with one bogey for a four under par 66 to take a two-shot lead into Sunday's final round. I'll go through my normal routine that I do every morning and come out here and hit the ball the same way, putt the same way, and, and hopefully have a good day tomorrow too. It's impossible not to think the what ifs. It's, it's, I think you gotta let yourself think them, finish the thought, and then get on to the next task at hand. Fidon knows how to close out as a front runner, winning his first professional title in Honduras by one stroke. Up next, a partnership where everyone wins. We know that mental health is the number one area that we want to be supporting, and through the help of the tournament, we are able to do that. And Sunday crowns a new champion on the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada. The Children's Health Foundation of Vancouver Island collaborates with communities, providing support services to the 160,000 kids living on the island. This April, the foundation launched the Foundry, a youth mental health hub that offers access to services and support under one roof. We're an organization that's been around for 91 years, and we've evolve to keep uh, pace with some of the health care challenges that families and youth have identified. We know that mental health is the number one area that we want to be supporting and through the help of the tournament we are able to do that. We have about 75 young people who are coming to access care here every single day. So young people, their families are coming uh, and, and it is no wrong doors. If you have questions about some of the feelings that you might be having, this is a place that you can come. It's safe, it's welcoming, uh, it's you know, non-judgmental, and this is really where you're going to get the support that you need. Children's Health Foundation, over the years, we've really developed a nice relationship with them, and we, we've seen and we've, I think that for a lot of us at Bayview and for people that we know, that that charity has been helpful and we've seen the results. We know that kids make up 22% of the island population, but they are 100% of our future. Um, I mean, and that's what every you know, kid, every family, every community wants. We're doing this for, for our kids, for the future, and so it's the kind of community that we all want to be a part of. It's a great opportunity to align ourselves with uh, such a high profile event in our beautiful community of Victoria, BC. Um, the Mackenzie Tour obviously brings to town some very, very skilled qualifying golfers, uh, which in turn attracts a, a great number of community people out to Uplands, which is where the tournament's held. And that in turn allows us to get our message out uh, about the importance of providing support and, uh, and care for, for children and youth on Vancouver Island. The opportunity to be involved with a tournament that is all about a wonderful sport, the wonderful sport of golf, and to see young men aspiring to play on the PGA Tour and to play out their dream, that's wonderful, but to also have the opportunity to help people in need in our community. We feel really proud of that opportunity. We really are so thankful to the Mackenzie Tour uh, and you know all of the, I think, just the awareness of uh, Foundry Victoria and, and the alignment of the values, you know, being sort of spokespeople, I mean, lots of great opportunities to get out in front of our community uh, and to have such a high profile event. We're, we're very proud to be a part of it. For the last five years, the Children's Health Foundation has been the main beneficiary for the Bayview Place DC Bank Open presented by Times Colonist. 
54 hole leader Sam Fedone began Championship Sunday at Uplands Golf Club with a two stroke lead over Blake Sattler. With a three under par front nine, the 25 year old lit up the leaderboard. Warming up this morning, I, I felt very confident. Um, I felt very, very strong, and I knew that my game plan was right, and I knew that all I had to do was commit to it, and uh, I'd be okay. Building on that momentum, Fedone carded a two under par back nine that included an unlikely birdie on 17. The putt on 17, I was just trying to get it up there close within the three foot hole that, I, that I'm trying to see from 30, 40 feet. And uh, it, it ended up looking really good the last couple of feet and, and went in. So it was a good exclamation point, good, good way to end the round and almost dropped on 18 too to get to 20. That would have been nice. Four rounds in the 60s en route to a five stroke victory over Blake Sattler sealed the deal. The Texan is just the second player to win on both the McKenzie Tour and PGA Tour Latino America. It was tough, but this course was really sweet to me all week, and I absolutely loved it walking into the gate. I don't think I missed a fairway all week. It was a good way to walk in and a good way to, to get to know the golf course. And at the end of the day, winning's winning, and I'm going to count it just the same. With the win, Sam Fedone joins Jordan Niebrugge atop the order of merit, with Zach Wright, Blake Sattler, and Cody Blick rounding out the top five. But it's a long summer, and anything can happen on the path to the web.com tour. On the next episode of This is the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada, we make our final stop on the BC Golf Swing in Kelowna for the Golf BC Championship. Last season, Robbie Shelton captured the title en route to a second place finish on the 2017 Order of Merit and a web.com tour bid. Who will take that next step this year? Tune in next week to find out. Thanks for watching.